Uh, I messed up. I messed it up. No, wait, no, no, it's still here. All right, hey guys, how's it going? I'm recording again with Aiden. Hello. Doing some more playdate with Poland. It's gonna be amazing. I mean, I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> well, I mean, I know where you are, and since I'm Germany and you're Poland, I think we know what's gonna happen. We're gonna ally and beat the commies. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I know my history. <laughs> Alrighty. So, how are you doing right now, Aiden? I'm doing pretty okay. I'm gonna attack Spain and murder them pretty soon. I think I plan on taking down these city-states. Why the city-states? They could be your delegates. You could rig their elections. As much as I want to, you do not understand how much room they're taking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I can kind of see how that's a problem for you. Because the only places that you have, you'd have to settle right next to a mountain. Yeah, there's beautiful hills and, you know, like, all these cool luxury resources. All really, all are just too close to that city-state. That's great, dude. Uh, let's produce granary. No, shrine. No walls. There we go. And I can't get Lake Victoria. Ormus has it now. Wait a minute. What? Oh. They have a maritime city-state without it being next to ocean. What? Oh, you're talking about the one in the middle of the lake? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of depressing. <laughs> Their one purpose cannot be used. I'm already negative in the happiness. Are you proud of me, Aiden? I have ten. I have negative one. I'm sorry, I just have... I have a lot. I mean a lot. Of copper. Can you trade me some and I'll give you some uh, stuff when I have something? That sounds like you're gonna kill me. Actually, wait, wait, I'm gonna withdraw that. I will actually give you some gold per turn, because you're, you're already in debt. Yep. Because I can't build my second city next to, like, this giant gold mine of a country. I'm sorry, of an area. Alright, accept the deal, please, Aiden. It's pretty fair. Yeah, I need money. <laughs> my country's... Country's going down. Woohoo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Indonesia sent a, is sending a warrior somewhere. They're going to attack just... Spain with me. Everyone wants to kill Spain. Why does that sound like a joke to me? Okay, so Indonesia <laughs> sent his warrior. <clears throat> that was a German. End of joke. I don't think that's a joke. <laughs> it's not. That has no historical grounding whatsoever. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna say this. Does anything. A lot of things, yes. dude. Yeah. You can everything literally you can literally trace everything that's going on today back to Roman times and it will make at least some sense. Why why did you say Roman times? There's like other civilizations that did things. Yes, but the Romans were the big players in Europe, and that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, they did everything in Europe. They were the kings of Europe. Basically. <laughs> I found a really good spot to make a city, because I got really good hills. And enough food. There's ten hills. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say to that. Alright. So, Aiden, how many turns yes. do you think it will be before you die? How many turns till 19... I'd say, um, 29? I think that's one's gonna be set in stone. Okay, <laughs> I... I... I don't know how many how many years of t until then. I don't. I have no concept of time in this game. It's kind of jumps for no reason. I'm. <laughs> I'm actually thinking I'm gonna win. Why? Why do you think you're gonna win? I'm Germany. <laughs> Means I win. Cause I think I think you're gonna say, "Good job, Poland. I believed in you." And go like, "Okay, thank you, Germany." And then you're gonna ally with me. <laughs> oh, okay. And, and then I'll win a, and I'll win a tourism victory. Hell yeah, dude! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I think this is gonna go down. I mean, 
Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but yours is wrong. <laughs> best quote, best quote, 2K16. I don't know. I can think there's several worse ones. Like what? Um, like, yesterday I heard this from a kid. He said, it doesn't, it wouldn't matter if Hitler won or lost, because in the end, he'd be the good guy in the books. <laughs> he would be. If they won, then he'd be, the like, the best leader ever. Good guy. The sad thing is that might actually, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that probably is true. <laughs> that definitely would have happened. Yeah, the winner always becomes the good guy, even like, okay, I mean, think about it this way. Every ancient civilization, Rome, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Well, yeah, but the barbarians were actually the bad guys. <laughs> they they yeah, just wanted to go around raping thing. and murdering. And then there was the Persians. You know, the Persians and the Romans were really, really similar. Like, there was not enough of a difference to really worry. Their entire culture was different, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Don't question my history. Okay. Alright. In the words of Mein Kong, I... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm just I'm not gonna not gonna say that. Um, <laughs> you, I got that on recording. <laughs> how was your day? Remember that when you go to sleep tonight, you should tell everyone about what you're reading about in Mein Kampf, Aiden. Oh, I did. Yes, tell them tell them what's going on. Tell them what you think is gonna happen at the end of the book. <laughs> That's what I'm doing on Monday. <laughs> okay gonna write a thematic essay about it wait are we working on monday or are we having the read thing the reading oh it's, thing. it's both it's one or the other you know you can do both oh I, I assume it's when you finish or something yeah basically okay all right <laughs> it's gonna be a good book good book best book i'm going to deforest this just to get some oranges Hashtag about... kill the rainforest for some oranges. Did you hear about the um, really funny glitch you can do in Civ 6? No. It makes it so um, if you send a worker out in the world and you mine random forests, you get the production to your capital. That's stupid. That's so stupid. <laughs> they're trying to fix it. They, they realized it just recently and they're like, oh. We should probably do something about this. Doesn't make historical sense or any sense. I'm just imagining like a worker like just walking into like I don't know like like Russia's borders and just being like, "Hey guys, can I mine this?" and then just mining it and taking it away to like their capital. And it's not even like war or anything. He's just peaceful. <laughs> Like, oh, it's alright. No, no, you can go to, like, the, like I'm gonna go to the North Pole real quick. Why? I need to deforest it. <laughs> I'm gonna go well, to the Amazon it's... rainforest. Why? I need the production, so I'm gonna deforest it. <laughs> Hope the natives are happy. I'm kidding, no, I wanna purge them. Hey. <laughs> um, and you can quote me on that. Okay, alright, I will. I will. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, it's on recording. <laughs> <laughs> Everything that you've said today has been on recording, even when you woke up and you weren't even with me. I'm, I've been behind you with a tape recorder all day. Why you tape recorder, specifically? Because I don't have any better forms of uh, recording voice in real life. <laughs> you can make it like a little skit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stalking the skit. Oh god. Yep. Spain just declared war on me. Rip. Rip oh, they declared war on you? Yep. <laughs> Ew. They just made, they just got in a whole lot of hurt. You know, I think the rule of history is... You Germany don't. will, will, and I, I can guarantee this, will at one point or another, 
try to destroy a country. <laughs> I mean, that's what they do. Yeah. Germany has started all two world wars, so I mean... <clears throat> yep. The second one, it was more, you know, one guy than Germany. You know, they just had a bad leader, but we'll... Yeah, but World War One, it was all of Germany. <laughs> It, it well, it was more um, Austro-Hungary's fault in the fact that they just hated everyone in the Balkans, and then Russia loved everyone in the Balkans. So it, it was a ticking time bomb. Yeah, it was. It literally was. It was a powder keg, as all historians call it. <laughs> it, it was really necessary to have that war when you think about it, because it could have been much worse. Yeah, just <clears throat> basically. I'm I'm just imagining what would have happened if Austria just snapped, like, much later. Oh, like in 1940 or something. <laughs> yeah, like when everyone had nukes, that would have been that would have been horrible. Because I mean, if Germany used gas and if they felt that was justifiable, then they would have definitely used nukes. The thing about nukes is, like, most countries, like, yeah, we would never use them. No. Unless the other country's being annoying. <laughs> Unless the other country's using them. Now, now, if Timmy over there thinks he can use a nuke, then we're going to use all of our nukes. Yeah, t Timmy is... Timmy just discovered nukes. He's obviously going to use them. Purge. <laughs> Murder him. We need another crusade. <laughs> Deus fault. Deus fault. Alright, I got the hanging gardens. Now I can start going full wartime. Aw, oh, I was building that. No, only I get the hanging gardens. Because they're so good. Okay. Um... I think I'm gonna try to build Machu Picchu. Why Machu Picchu? Well, you get a good amount of gold, you get some faith, and you get extra gold from your trade routes, and that's pretty handy. I, get, I mean, it's not bad, but there's just better wonders that you could be building right now, like, um... Well, it's the only one I can build right now. Oh, okay. Why is this not... Okay, whatever, that's not working, so... I actually don't know why it's the only wonder I could build, but whatever... <laughs> Oh, I just realized my capital's in a way that blocks a route. Yep. <laughs> Perfectly blocks it. War's gonna start. <laughs> yep, basically. There is no way this could end good for Poland. Good old Poland. Unlike everything else in history. <laughs> Wait, it's what? all been good for Poland. Yeah, everything, nothing bad has ever happened to Poland. Yep. I'm gonna die. Yep. <laughs> Glad you're realizing <laughs> this. <laughs> I've realized it, I just... Why? Oh. I find it strange that people can do, um, trade routes without, with you without, appro without you approving them. Well, yeah, that is kind of weird, but, I mean, free money, so... <laughs> I know, but I'm just getting surprised. I'm like, surprise! What are you doing? Like, it was trading with me. I'm like, oh my gosh, they're trading. Oh no, they're not. Never mind. <laughs> nah, fine. they're just trading. <laughs> wink, wink. Oh, 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 oh. Rip Ramses. Indonesia just declared war on Egypt. How threatening. <laughs> There's no way they can win with their superior wonders and country. I'm really close to Carthage. I had to take this territory from them. If you want to talk about close to someone, look at how close I am to Spain. I know. <clears throat> Once again, it was a ticking time bomb. <laughs> you know, I got to admit, as bad as this sounds, I'm pretty surprised Austria is still on the map. What do you mean? They They've existed for like... I don't know, 700 years, roughly? I know, but I really thought World War One would have wiped them out. It wiped it wiped their, like, empire out, but not them themselves. It made them Montenegro in the end. 
What can you explain to the audience what that means? <laughs> okay. So for those who don't know, here's a quick little fun fact for you. Um, the country known as um, Montenegro participated in the Russian <laughs> and Japan war. And when yeah. they participated, they sent... Well, when I mean participated, I mean they sent like 10 units. They didn't even fight. Yep. <laughs> and those units, who knows what happened to them, but bless them. Um, they were... Russia lost the war, but Montenegro wasn't in the peace treaty because Russia forgot they existed. Yep. But Montenegro just thought it was because they feared losing and weren't willing to surrender. So for a hundred years, that's what they thought. <laughs> it's a good, good war needed to happen. It needed to happen.